Good morning, everyone. Welcome to morning prayer time on a Wednesday morning. It's very cold outside, so I decided to do our prayer time indoors today. Uh, let's let's open today with a brief <clears throat> with a brief word of prayer. God, we thank you so much for your presence here with us this morning. Uh, through everything that we do today, help guide us towards you, Lord. Reveal to us your goodness in the world and in ourselves. It's in your holy name that we pray. Amen. So, I'm going to try and tackle a pretty deep theological topic in 10 minutes during our morning break time. Uh, and... Um, so I had somebody that called the office this week that um, that is thinking of joining the church and that had some questions, like theological questions, right? And so we got into a discussion. And one of the questions that they asked was on this idea that that humans are completely sinful, completely uh, evil, um, and until until we turn to God, uh, that that we can do no good thing, and so in which <clears throat> is a fancy uh, term. Let's see if I can get it up here. The fancy term is total depravity. They had questions and concerns about this, and didn't like the emphasis that that a lot of times Christians place on this, um, uh, like vilifying humanity, vilifying people, and. Um, and I can totally relate to that. So I wanted to, to talk a little, just a little bit about this, because I think it matters in how we pray and stuff too, and, and how we understand uh, God's work in our life. So uh, several scriptures. Uh, first is, protect me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. I have no good apart from you. So this is one of those uh uh, scriptures that leans towards this understanding um, that I have no good apart from you. And we're going to come back to that. Jesus said, I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who abide in me and I in them bear much fruit because apart from me, you can do nothing. So it's another verse that has this, kind of the same, uh, the same idea that we can't do anything good apart from God. Um, but here's the thing, and and one of the reasons why I was wanted to talk about it this week is I think Candace is going to touch on it a lot more in her sermon on Sunday. I think I have I don't know her sermon, but she's preaching on Genesis one, including this, <clears throat> the end of Genesis one. God saw everything that He had made. This is right after God creates humanity, and indeed it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. So this understanding, one, is that God, all of God's creation is good, uh, that God doesn't create evil, but that that comes into the world through our decisions and our our bent, maybe, towards temptation. Um, but here's the thing. When we go back to this this psalm, Psalm 16, or, or Jesus' words about being the vine and the branches, it says, I have no good apart from you. My next question would be, when are we apart from God? Or maybe in the words of Psalm 139, where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, you are there. In other words, it, we could say that we can do no good thing apart from God. And I, I can get behind that, except that when are we ever fully apart from God? In Wesley's terminology, he used this word called prevenient grace, that God's grace and God's love is extended to us, is with us, is present with us from the very beginning, before we know who Jesus is. Uh, and Jesus himself said things like, 
uh, you know, there are going to be many who call me Lord, Lord, and I will say I didn't know them because they didn't feed the hungry and clothe the, the naked. And, and uh, there will be those who did the, those good works and they will, and I will say to them, come, you are, you know, a part of, take a part of my kingdom. <clears throat> and they will say, when did we do these things? When, when did we, um, when did we call you Lord, basically? And he'll say anytime that you did these, these things. And so there's an idea that's at least that's ruminating in the back of my mind, right? That, um, if we define God as, as goodness, as love, you know, then any time that we are being loving or good, God is with us, right? Like it, any time that we are uh, sharing or healing or comforting or being kind, like those things, that is God in us and with us, whether we know it or not. And that God is never completely not present. Like God is always with us, always. Um, that there's nowhere that we can go that God is not. So that brings me to how we pray then, right? Because we are, we do have that propensity in ourselves towards evil, towards temptation, towards um, uh, the flesh, if you will, in Paul's terms, I suppose, right? And Paul himself says that that he does things that he doesn't want to do all the time. Uh, and I can relate to that too. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> right? We, we do things um, that are contrary to God all the time. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And yet, God is still with us. God doesn't give up on us. And we have the free will and the ability to choose good. Uh, we can't choose it apart from God because God is the goodness. Like we can't choose good and not choose God, in my, in, at least in my understanding. So as we pray this morning, I hope that we, that we can lean into the understanding that, that God's creation, including you, including me, that we were created good uh, and that, that God is with us and that God desires for us to, to choose God in all that we do. Um, and God helps us to do that. God hasn't given us a spirit of fear, right? but a spirit of love and self-control. Let's so let's pray. I don't know what you're struggling with, but we all have things we're struggling with. We all have uh, habits, hangups, addictions, things, uh, patterns in our life that uh, that lead us away from God rather than toward God. And so I don't know what what yours is, what you're struggling with, um, but God is with you in that. Uh, so let's pray this morning for, again, the start to a new year, for uh, a drawing closer to God, for an understanding of God's presence already with us, and may we choose the good uh, in ourselves and, in our, and around us. So let's, let's pray this morning. If you have any prayer requests, you can post them in the chat, and I'd be happy to pray for you and with you. God, we thank you so much for all that you have created, for the goodness of it, for from the beauty of nature and this planet uh, to the beauty that is each of our bodies, to the beauty that is your church and community and when we come together in your name. And Lord, we, we know that we don't always that we, we don't always live into that goodness. That sometimes our choices take us in paths that, that, that don't lead to your kingdom. Sometimes we 
uh, take for granted the, the good gift of creation. Uh, and our world suffers. Sometimes we take for granted the gift of one another that you've given us, and our relationships suffer, Lord. Um, and there is a, a drawing force within our hearts that, that is selfish. Uh, and Lord, we pray today that we would be able to lay that aside that we would be able to be fully connected and present with you today. That we would live into the goodness that you have created for us to do. The, the good works that you have planned from the very beginning. Help us to bear good fruit of love and kindness and joy and peace gentleness and self-control, faithfulness. Lord, all of these things that are the good things that you grow in us, help us to open ourselves to the work of your Holy Spirit in our lives today. Help us to be fertile soil for those fruit to grow. And Lord, when we uh, are struggling when we don't know how to pray or what to pray or what to do to rid ourselves of uh, the temptations or the, the habits, uh, the things that can sometimes just have such a grip uh, on us, Lord, help break those chains of slavery to sin. Apart from you, we can do nothing, but you are never a, totally apart from us. You are here with us, Lord. Give us your strength today. Give us your peace and your love and your focus. It's in your holy name that we pray. Amen. God bless each of you today. May you go in peace and hope and joy and love uh, as you start 2022. Y'all, we are here. You made it. Good job. And uh, I pray that that this week and this and today are, um, are days where you can connect ever more closely to God um, and God's path and will for you in your life.